It is Christmas Eve. The melody of a Christmas carol fills the still night in a village in Europe. It is Christmas Eve. The same song comes from a church in a small town in America. For nearly 150 years, in many parts of the world, people have been singing this carol. It is the song we call Silent Night. this beloved song? Where did it come from? For the answer, we must go to Europe. It was here in Austria, in the little village of Oberndorf, that the song was written. If we should go there today, we'd find the town of Oberndorf in the province of Salzburg. Here, we can trace the history of the song. Not far from the church of St. Nicola, in the village, is a chapel built by the people of Oberndorf. Inside the chapel, the story of Silent Night is told in two portraits of stained glass. One is of Father Moore, the village priest who wrote the words of the song. His friend was Franz Gruber, the teacher and choir master who composed the music of Silent Night. For the story of the two men and the song they wrote, we must go back a long time. We must go back a century and a half. It is the year 1818, in the holiday season, the Christmas season. In the village, it is the time of age-old Christmas customs. Groups of girls are visiting each house, carrying with them a painting of Mary and Joseph. Boys, representing the shepherds of Bethlehem, come to the houses caroling. They are collecting gifts of food for the poor. The story they tell in song is one that never loses interest, for it is the story of the first Christmas. And the same story will be told again in the Christmas Eve service in the church. But on this afternoon, the door of the church stands open, and all is still. Inside, the choir master, Franz Gruber, has discovered that the organ is broken. He will not be able to play, and Father Moore will have no music for his Christmas Eve service. And what would Christmas Eve be without music in the church? The problem was one for Father Moore, but he was not here. He had gone away to visit a family in a mountain cabin. As he walked along, his thoughts were on the preparations for the coming of Christmas. His path took him ever upward, along the snowy slopes. Above him was the forest, dark against the gleaming snow. From below came the faint and musical sounds of a mountain stream. And all about him was the quiet beauty of God's world. It was evening when he reached the house. At the door, he received a warm and friendly welcome. 
And there before him lay a baby with his mother. Perhaps as he watched, Father Moore may have thought of another child, the Christ child, lying in the manger. It was night when Father Moore started back to the village. In the moonlight, the mountain slope lay still and calm. It was a beautiful night, a holy night. Father Moore thought of many things. The child he had seen, the beauty of the night, the Christmas soon to come. And so it was, as some say, that on his return to the village, Father Moore wrote a poem. The words seemed to come quickly and easily. Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, Silent Night, Holy Night. Even as he wrote, the priest wondered whether the poem could be set to music. Father Moore decided to take it to Franz Gruber. The two friends, priest and schoolteacher, talked it over together. The school teacher began to read. Silent night, holy night. Why, this was a poem that was meant for Christmas. Father Moore wondered, could the words be set to music? Of course, Franz Gruber would compose a melody. Perhaps they would have some music for their Christmas Eve service after all. The words themselves seem to suggest the melody, a simple melody, one that Franz Gruber first played on his guitar. And so it was that the song two men had written was presented for the first time in 1818 at the Christmas Eve service in the village church. Christmas was over, and in the days that followed, no one outside the village knew about the song. With the first hint of spring, an organ mender from a village in the Tyrol came to Oberndorf. The children knew that at last, someone had come to fix the broken organ in their church. And indeed, it was not very long before the old craftsman had put the instrument into working order. Now, he said to the choir master, you try it. And so Franz Gruber sat down and began to play the Christmas song he had written some weeks before. Morgan Mender listened and remembered. All the way back to his own village, the organ mender thought of the lovely words and simple melody. And when at last he reached the hill overlooking his own village and some children came to meet him, he taught them the song he had learned. 
Down the hill ran the children, and with them went the song, Silent Night. For some years, the song was known only in such villages, tucked away in the snug valleys of the Alps. But finally, it found its way to St. Peter's Abbey in Salzburg. And from the city of Salzburg in Austria, the song was eventually carried to other places in Europe. To Paris. To London. And then to places in America to the cities and to the small towns. Today, Silent Night is a song that belongs to everyone.